In this video, we introduce con extensions, which is, in some sense, the most general concept in category theory, and unifies many of the other concepts we have already discussed. First recall, given a functor f and a category e, there is a pre-composition functor f upper star, which takes a natural transformation alpha to alpha f. The problem con extensions address is the following. If there are functors f and g with a common domain, is there an extension of g along f? One obstruction we encounter is that f may identify two distinct morphisms in the category A, while g maintains their distinction. So we instead look to the best approximate extensions, and this will require us to use two morphisms, aka the natural transformations. And like any categorical concepts, there are two kinds of universals we can describe, one which is initial and the other which is terminal. We give the definitions. One, the left con extension of g along f, denoted lan f g eta, is the initial object in the category g over f upper star. In other words, given an object k gamma in g over f upper star, there is a unique morphism alpha from the left con extension to it. In diagram form, this means that the following two categorical diagram commutes, and in the one categorical form, it means the two natural transformations compose, giving us alpha f eta equal to gamma. And two, the right con extension of g along f denoted ron f g epsilon is the terminal object in f upper star over g. In other words, given k delta in f upper star over g, there is a unique morphism alpha to the right con extension, which is equivalent to the following two diagram commuting, and in the one diagram of functors, giving us epsilon alpha f equal to delta. By the definitions of con extensions, it is easy to prove the following. The left, respectively right, con extension of g along f exists for each functor g if and only if lan f is a left adjoint functor to f upper star, respectively ron f is a right adjoint functor to f upper star. This follows immediately from a result we proved in our playlist on adjoint situations, which states h is an adjoint, respectively coadjoint functor, if and only if for each object d in the category d d over g, respectively g over d, has an initial, respectively terminal object. The proof we gave in that video then shows that the construction lan f, respectively ron f, is the left, respectively right, adjoint to the pre-composition functor. Finally, we note that the two dual of the left con extension of g along f is the right con extension of g op along f op, as described in the following diagrams. This kind of dualization will reduce the amount of work we'll have to show when proving certain results. 